I drive with the Stealth for several weeks and it's finally time to share my experience with it. Houston, this is Odyssey one of the top. Houston Spirit, I have a set of doors for her. Copy that, Odyssey one. Five mil thick carbon body with silicone molded handles in an atomic shape for maximum comfort. CNC machined aluminum front and back plate with complex shape in and out for maximum support and little glass diffuser for the RPM LEDs. Aluminum knobs for the rotary encoders, aluminum body for the four magnetic shifters and the clutch system with adjustable carbon plates. Carbon plates extension for the quick release connected with the CNC machined aluminum pieces. Rock solid, zero flex, built like a tank body which have been expected for the hefty price. Features, 29 inputs in total, starting from the six shifters, four of which are magnetic on the top and the two on the bottom, which can be set as dual clutch with bite point system, throttle or brake and anything else we wish. Two small backlit buttons on the top, two thumb rotor encoders, six backlit buttons with interchangeable diffused cups, three rotor encoders in the middle with diffused backlit windows and joystick-like button with another five inputs. Rev indicator behind the diffused window with full color and telemetry control, same for the three backlit windows and the six buttons on the left and right side. Now, the most unique feature is hidden on the side, which gives ambient light over my hands or gloves through eight individual LED spots on each side and again full color and telemetry control through SIM hub. Different flags, pit limit engagement, delta split time, radar, whatever I wish. Next, user experience and comfort. First, the anatomic shape of those silicone grips are probably one of the most comfortable I ever had in my hands. Except maybe those from the Cube Control, which I test on the last expo, but they are not yet out. The molding is just absolutely smooth without any sharp edges and from my sitting position my hands and grips just become one piece together. The four buttons and thumb rotary are very comfortable to operate and are within the thumb reach without removing my hands from the grips. And the vertical placement of those encoders gives really good and smooth control in operation. Now, that will have been sent to me with different knobs which have really beautiful and complex design but in full lock of my hands without gloves they touch my fingers and create just little discomfort. With gloves that was not issue at all but I know not everyone wants to use gloves in driving so because I personally love the position of the knobs and the problem was just shape and size. I contact VPG and asked if they can make thinner knobs with flat surface. It took like 3 hours for them to come with solution and in 2 days I received the new knobs and indeed that little imperfection was gone completely. Now from my position in full lock of my hands there is zero contact but even in extreme situation the flat surface of the knob will not create any discomfort on bare hands. I love when producer consider user opinion an idea and work quickly to make our experience better. Buttons and rotaries have enough tension with gloves and without to fill each input. The pedal plates are in the correct distance, adjustable on the lateral movement and quite enough for magnetic shifters. So, from comfort point of view and quality of the entire build is definitely one of the best wheel I have around, but also is 
one of the most expensive. The SimHub profile which comes with the wheel is also absolutely brilliant and even if I have full control of the telemetry and colors there is no single thing I want to change. The red and blue which are on the opposite side of the color wheel spectrum gives the perfect contrast and really look pleasant to my eyes. The radar system activate blinking mode on the three side buttons to make us aware of side by side situation. The three backlit windows blink in red on rev limits and different color blinking combination for bit limits engagement. As I've said the main and most unique feature is the side ambient light. It gives subtle glow on my gloves through the hidden LED lights and it shows different color flux attention and the main feature is to give the red and green delta splits. However, even if it does the job as intended, I personally don't find it that useful as the delta bar on iRacing for example as the bar on the main screen can give me instant and clean information if I break late or accelerate smooth and take instant decision for my pedals inputs. The ambient light still gives me information how my split is going but it can really help me for those instant decisions. That being said, if you don't use the delta as I do on my racing, that ambient light can keep you aware of your current state of your lap time and the flag engagement is definitely a very nice feature. All that is in the stock profile but if you want to change colors or different telemetry data information we can change whatever we wish in the magical SimHub software. So here are my final thoughts. Expensive high-end gear which Average sim racer like me and probably most of you cannot justify the cost but one thing is for sure, it is top quality build from top materials and definitely one of the most comfortable wheels, period, user friendly experience with the provided sim hub file, great size for GD cars and open wheel cars 290mm and reading different forums it looks like the VPG guys take good care of their customers. After over a month of driving with it, I haven't found any issue and it was real pleasure to use. I wish it was more affordable and accessible for more of us but wishes and reality are two different things. The VPG work looks incredible in their entire line and if you can afford them, honestly, the quality is absolutely top. Take care everyone, see you on the track.